What's going on, everyone? It's Greg back with some more Mirror 4. And today I wanted to go into the, what I was talking about on patch day, which is the um, notification of the roadmap of upcoming changes which are intended to improve gameplay among the, all Dragon Codings in Mirror 4. So, this is the roadmap that they came out with at the same time that on Monday when the update came out. And I said I was going to cover it in a separate video, so here it is. Now, these first two paragraphs pretty much go over, you know, saying that, hey, we've done all these things to try to counter the bots and multi boxing abusers. And that despite all the things they've done, they're still having issues and they really want to try to fix it, essentially, is what they're saying. They want everyone to have an enjoyable environment. And so they come out this, you know, these changes they're going to be doing over the next two months or so. And they call this as they call this the great resistance. And I just thought it was kind of funny because this is kind of like that video I made back when uh, before I joined DTM and we were fighting DTM on NA43. Uh, or I'm sorry, NA42. And, um, you know, I tried to come up with the resistance and I kind of use that in my video titles and stuff, but never really panned out. And um, so I just thought that was kind of funny. They're calling this the great resistance. It says there are many changes that are part of the initiative that can be summarized in two significant phases. Restoration of economic control for Dragonians and reigniting the spirit of conquest. So what does this mean? It means they're trying to help the ecosystem in Mirror 4. I will say this. There are still a lot of players in Mirror 4. And one way that, we, way that we can see that is if we go to WeMix Play, this is the WeMix platform for, you know, the different blockchain games that are on the WeMix environment. And as you can see here, Mirror 4 outranks everything by far in terms of players. So it says right now there's 420,000 active players. I saw this averaging more before the update, uh, averaging over 500,000. I think that the last update got rid of um, uh, probably a decent chunk of bots. Um, and at the end of the day, we still don't know how many of these are really bots and multi boxers. Um, it's probably a good amount, but either way, whether it's bots or not, there's bots in all these games. And as you can see, we still far out numbers in any of the other games. I'm, I was actually quite surprised to see that your gang is number two on here, considering uh, I played that for a bit and it, there was a lot of issues in that game that just prevented me from really getting into the content and stuff on it because. For one, I couldn't do a lot of the different activities just simply because there was some kind of time zone issue that the times weren't matching up for me. And no matter what I did, it wouldn't match up. So I gave up on that game altogether. Um, but I, I mean, I enjoyed it for a little bit. I played it. But at the end of the day, it wasn't anything major. And as you can see here, you can see some other games I've talked about in videos um, over the past few months. But by far, Mirror 4 is still extremely pop popular. And I think they're trying to fix these issues because they want to maintain the audience and grow the audience, of course. So let's continue to go through this here. It says that um, the first phase is going to include modifications uh, for the ecosystem. So on July 12th, we got part of the update where they modified the hidden valleys and the uh, dark steel mines. And if you guys have noticed that overall, the production of dark steel is down because there's not that many characters in Red Moon Valley. Ambition Valley and Snake Valley were nerfed pretty significantly. So even like Valley Holders, the taxes we get from the Valley has went down quite a lot. Um, I mean, we've pretty much, you know, it's, it's dropped significantly and, you know, people aren't getting anywhere near as much Dark Steel. Now, I guess the hope here is to kind of boost the economy. So there's more the players mining versus bots mining and therefore hopefully raise the value of Draco and things like that. Will it work? I don't know. Probably... <laughs> I mean, it's really hard to say, right? I mean, people are always going to find alternatives and keep finding other things to do. But who knows? Maybe it will help. And no, it did help a little bit at first. But then again, everything's starting to drop again. So then it says second phase will focus on the revitalization of the game's main theme from my battle to our war. East Dragonian tells their own story that begins with the adventuring the vast world of Mir. Uh, well, Mir. And many have engaged in numerous fierce battles, become rulers of Hidden Valley's Ambition Castle. Recent crossover contents have sparked cooperation and strife among neighboring servers through Expedition Ambition Heist. So yes, all these modes are cool. Um, they've added a lot of dynamic to the game. The multi-server um, alliances have also played a role into how things are going. On August 23rd, a major change will take place through the merging of servers. So what does this mean? Who knows? We don't really have any details on server merge. We don't know what's going to be merged, but we do know that 16 servers 
are going to be interconnected um, and are basically going to have a shared server that all 16 servers can go to. And I've had this content is out in Korea, and this is um the uh, what is it called? It's there's another mode in here. We'll probably get to it in a minute. But this is those are the conquest servers, and anyone can go there. There's like three or three different four hour blocks throughout the day that is active and you, you will find people from all servers there and there's multiple bosses there there's mobs all kinds of stuff to do there so this will definitely be quite interesting and a, and a nice addition to the game um, but it's something that is coming already from korea so it's not something brand new um they're just you know it's, it's going to be coming to the game now in terms of uh, what that means it's, it's a separate little server for people to fight on so it's not really going to be a huge deal or impact the existing servers um so why they're doing the merge i'm not quite sure because when i look at the if you look at the bishon castles here and uh, look at the list it looks like the servers are already divided up into 16 server blocks so i'm not really sure what they're trying to merge the only thing i can think of is that in some regions maybe like here like i don't know like are they gonna try to merge these um 10 into the 16 how are they gonna separate these right um it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me why they're gonna be doing server merge but like this one for sure i can see like sa 91 92 93 will get merged into some other servers but how they're gonna pick and choose we have no idea we'll have to wait and see how that works out and they um, again, like NA is really only lacking two servers. So are they really going to um, divvy that up that way? Or are they going to fill some servers in with these new NFT servers we're talking about, which we'll get into in a second. And before we keep reading, one thing I want to do real quick is uh, I want to try to do this more in between. If you haven't hit that like button yet, please go ahead and hit that like button. It'll help me out a lot, especially if you're enjoying the content. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Now, um, on August 23rd, uh, okay, that's when the merge servers are coming and that's some preparation for the conquest I'm not sure exactly when that's going to come but we're gonna look at the timeline here in a second In addition to the merging of servers though brand new nft servers will be introduced where the creation of new characters will not be allowed And only the mightiest and bravest drag dragon dragonians with the existing character nfts will be invited to write yet another grand story free from bots and multi-boxing abusers so i'm curious if that may be a free move for nfts that are on servers already you know instead of having to use wayfarers pass and then will it also be included with the wayfarers pass like can we move to those servers freely or is there really some kind of like limit to it uh we'll have to see how that turns out the authors of mirror 4 legacy are the dragonians together we will write yet another great masterpiece in the land of mir let us rid the land of those who violate our gamers code of fair gameplay let us prevail and rise above them all in the great resistance um i i, I feel like that's kind of hilarious like at the same time like i am glad that they're trying to do stuff um it's just really hard to accomplish things like that now one thing i noticed here um which we don't have any details on yet but they did post this the other day and as far as i could tell like something was supposed to be out by now but um they are saying that the revolutionary play and earn economy of mirror 4 began with draco progressed with x draco and is perfected through character nft without a doubt the stories of endless adventures achievements and war conducted on the mirror continent in mirage can only be told through your character together with those stories written down through your adventures a new way that will enable you to grow your nft characters will now be paved this to me is very interesting i cannot wait to see what this is about this is nft enhancement the one we have all been waiting for man i i know you guys have heard me talk about in previous videos that there's the one big issue with mirage like you have an nft but you can't do anything with it it doesn't gain experience or anything like that if you put it into mirage you're losing time in the game so they, they, you, you need some way to counter that to give people other options to do things with their NFTs. And ultimately, if this is going to be successful, I, I really feel like they're going to have to have some kind of way to bring NFTs into future games in some form or fashion. Or maybe at least gives you some kind of advantage in a future game. So um, share your untold stories through character NFT. The heroic stories of yours will not stay as mere fairy tales, but become a brand new history. So I'm not sure what they're going to record to the NFT what this is going to look like we're supposed to have more information by now but i'll probably post another video when that comes out but i just want to touch on that real quick since it has been out since uh before i re was recording this and lastly i just want to show you guys here uh, you can see that the mirror 4 global page has been updated um 
we have chapter six here which is Bishan heist which we already got reclaiming control was the this update we just got previously where they uh changed the dark steel mines and stuff now here chapter eight this is one thing that was on the other thing the bleach uh, oblige um with great power comes great responsibility and i believe what this stands for is um basically saying that you're sharing with other people and stuff like that it says as a protector and ruler of your server defend against the mightiest the might of neighboring forces or risk loss of honor glory and wealth Accountability of leaders, dark steel mining tax collected through hidden valleys of Bishop Castle will be halved upon destruction of the altar of darkness. So here they're enhancing the altar of darkness to make it even, you know, even more of an issue if someone takes it out. So um, it's basically something like, and the thing is that happens like every day. So is someone going to be there to defend every day? How's it going to work? Especially where servers don't have more of multi-server alliance. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Uh, I, I really wish that there wasn't also darkness almost every day. Uh, it's kind of crazy, but it is what it is. Then we have Prelude of Conquest. This is when the changes come with the server merges. And um, the interconnected force from eight different servers. Okay, so here, this is different from what we just read, right? It says existing servers will become merged in preparation for the upcoming domination server, which will interconnect forces from eight different servers to all out war so before it says 16 now it says eight so now i can see where a lot of server mergers come in if they merge 16 servers down to eight ooh, that's going to be crazy um so that's we we gotta wait and see what's gonna happen with that and chapter 10 um is not available yet so that's what we have for now on the timeline and there's nothing beyond that I'm looking forward to those updates and what I'm planning to do here is next week, hopefully go over the new patch in Korea and try to keep up with that a little more often. So we have our patches on like this week for global and then on the in between weeks, we have patches in Korea and what I'm going to start doing is try to cover that, show you guys what's going on. And so we can talk about, you know, the things that are the changes that are coming and what's happening. I am trying to get a little bit more into things. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. Again, make sure you hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Turn those notifications on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.